can you all do? of it? Alright. Um, I'll start from the digestion. So I didn't mention before, but this is your trachea. It's very easily visible. I guess he could test you on that. He probably won't because it's very obvious, but whatever. Then you have your diaphragm. This is your diaphragm. And on the inner side, you have it connect you have ligaments that connects it to the liver. So the top ligament is usually like whiter and it's called the round ligament. So if he points to this, round. If he puts a pin, it's hard to see, but if he puts a pin in the clear stuff that's right below it, it's falciforum ligament. If he puts a pin really, really down low, it's coronary ligament. So just remember round, top, falciforum, middle, coronary, bottom. And it's really hard to tell exactly where it starts and ends, but like that's just make your best judgment. Coronary is gonna have to be really down low. Round is really at the top. Falciform is the middle, so just judge it that like way. Clear is the falciform. Yeah, the falciform is like the clear middle part. You guys can see it right here. Falciform. Coronary. I never really know exactly where it like starts, but it's like down there. Or maybe even the bottom of this, but like the middle part is fast form. And then the top, you can see this is kind of darker. Like it's, it's whitish compared to this is really clear. So that's the rounds of it. Um, and these are your lobes of your liver. There's like many of them. You have your gallbladder, which is this green part on the inside. Sometimes it's not green, but it's like this big bulge. Um, you have the cystic, I know you can't see it. <laughs> you have the cystic duct, which is the first, like if he points right to the edge of the gallbladder, that's a cystic duct. You can look at your cat diagram for like a better understanding. But this is cystic. Then down lower, closer to like where it empties into the duodenum, is the bile, common bile duct. So like probably like right there would be common bile. Up here would be cystic. Then you have hepatic ducts that run from your liver lobes. So like anything he points to in this area would be hepatic duct. Also on this side, anything he points to like over here is hepatic duct because it has to run down and meet with the with the cystic to form the common bile duct. And that like empties into the top of your duodenum, which is the top of your small intestine. Um, then let's see, you have your stomach, which is this whole thing is your stomach. It has the top part is the fundus, then you have your body, and then you have your pylorus, which is the part that's like the bottom, that the end of it that leads into the small intestine. This is the pylorus. You have sphincters, which like close and open to keep stuff from like flowing in and out. There's the cardiac sphincter, which is, would be the top. I remember it because it's like closer to your heart, so cardiac sphincter up here. Then you have your pyloric sphincter, which is at the bottom, names for the pylorus. So your pyloric sphincter would probably be like right there. This is not supposed to be green, that's by accident, but it's right here. Um, if he cuts open your stomach and he opens it, the inside part is like squiggly, that's the rugae. Um, technically, if he asks what this large like curve is, that's the greater curvature, because it's a big C. And then the inner part of the stomach is kind of like a little C, so that's a lesser curvature. Um, then what else about your stomach? I think that's it about your stomach. How would you know if he's asked if he wants like the greater curvature or the body? He could have give you a diagram on the table and oh. like point to it. But like if he pointed to that spot, he points to body. this. It's probably. It depends how he phrases the question. You could always raise your hand during a practical and be like, are you pointing to the body or the greater curve? Like, you could be like, which one are you pointing to? But usually on the cat, he'd probably put a pin here for body, a pin here for uh, fundus, a pin here for pylorus. And if he like asks about this curve, it's the greater curvature. I mean, it's kind of hard to ask, but he probably has a way of doing it. Um, then, just like so you know the area, right above your stomach, there's this lesser omentum, which is like a mesentery that leads from the top of your stomach intestine area, like up to your liver. It's really not much left of it on this cat, but like if you can see, there's like this like clear stuff that's kind of right here that's running through it. Like there's more of it right here. It's like a little bit like clear ligament-y stuff. Um, this is the best part of it that's left. So it's called the lesser omentum, the whole like, it's kind of like this but smaller and it's up here. But this cat doesn't have a lot left. So there's two ligaments in it that you need to know. And I think the way he'll test you is if he takes like a little bit of it, like that, it's probably a ligament and it, it, you'll know based on like where it's located.
So if you point to like a little bit of it, like right here, that's going between the top of the stomach and the top of the liver, then it's your gastrohepatic ligament because it's named for like where it goes. So gastrohepatic ligament would probably be like that if you point to only a little of it. If you point to the whole thing itself, it's the lateral omentum. But then if he points to the part that goes like right over here, there's like a little bit of it that's probably going from the top of the duodenum. Like, I mean, this is like the common bile duct area, but there's also some mesentery above it. So like, if this is like a mesentery that's going from the top of the duodenum to the uh, liver, it's called the hepatoduodenal ligament. So just like look at your diagrams, know like the area it's supposed to be in. It's in the lateral omentum area, but the whole thing is lateral omentum. Then, so your stomach. Oh wait, as just as a side note, behind your stomach, like on this side, you have your spleen. It's this big brown other thing. Um, you also have a ligament going from your top of your spleen to your stomach. So it's kind of on the back side, and it, it would probably be like right there if you. If you point to this, it's probably um, gastrosplenic ligament because it's only pointing to like a little part of the mesentery that's in between the stomach and the spleen. Gastrosplenic ligament, and this is your spleen. All right, going back to the small intestine, you have so like this whole thing is your small intestine, but there's three parts to it. So the top part, which is usually straight, it goes from the end of the stomach over here. That's it's really just this. It's like a tube. That's your uh, duodenum. And you actually have a mesentery. So like the clear part next to the duodenum is considered the mesoduodenum. So meso for mesentery and duodenum for where it's located. So it's like the like clear part that's like right next to it. But the pancreas, don't get confused, it runs alongside the duodenum. So this cat is really bad because his pancreas is like small and cut, but like you see this like lobular stuff, it's not mesentery, it's actually an organ. It, kind of has like little circles if you look really closely. This is the pancreas. And the, the intersection is like, you can see like here, that's the small intestine, and here, that's the pancreas. So they're right next to each other. And you can see it on both sides. Like this side, it might be easier to see. Here's your pancreas, here's your small intestine. Um, and that's because the pancreas has a pancreatic duct that dumps everything into the top of the small intestine. But you're not going to have to see the duct in the cat because it's like really tiny, you have to open it or whatever. But um, just so you know, where, like if you can see from this end, here's your pancreas, here's your small intestine, here's your bile, uh, your bile duct. It all empties kind of like into this area. So like the big pouch, like where everything empties into the small intestine is called the ampulla of Vader. I don't think he's going to show it to you on the cat because it's really hard to tell, but just in case, like, I can't be sure, if he, like, kind of groups, like, like that together, and he's not really pointing to the bile duct, and he's not really pointing to the small intestine, he's not really pointing to the pancreas, if it's kind of like an area where everything groups together, it's probably the ampulla of Vader. But, like, I would probably say if he took this, because it's still, like, above it, I would say that's the common bile duct, because it's, like, right above before it enters anything. Um, so here's your pancreas. I know it's really hard to see on this cat. Check out the other cats. It's definitely visible. All right, so duodenum. Then the second part of your small intestine is the jejunum, and it's all of these curly stuff. So if it's kind of just like out here, and he points to this, it's jejunum. But if he opens, so like this is your large intestine. If he sticks your large intestine out, and you can see the last like loop like, so if this is like the jejunum, the last loop of the curly part that goes right before your large intestine is the ilium, because it's like the last part. So it goes duodenum, jejunum, ilium. And usually you can only see that, like exactly what he's talking about, when he kind of like spreads it out. So if he spreads it out like this, this is the ilium, because it's like kind of a little separate by itself. Because right next, and the, my, like, my, where I can tell where the ilium like, is, is based on this, the cecum, which is the tip of your large intestine, or colon. This is the cecum. So if you ever see the cecum and you see this like curl right next to it, then that's the ilium, which is the last part of the small intestine. Um, if he points to any of the mesenteries like in this jejunum area, 
This is just considered mesentery. It doesn't have a name that you need to know. Um, then your large intestine is the same thing as your colon. It's just a second name. So the tip of it is the cecum. You actually have an ileocecal valve, which goes between your ileum and your large intestine. So it's probably like in there, like between the two, like right in there would be your ileocecal valve, if everyone can see. It's just if you put a pin in between the two of them. Um, then your colon has three parts. It's just continuous, but it has different names. So the top part of it, like from the cecum a little bit further out, is the ascending colon. Then the part where it starts to either like go straighter down is the transverse. And then where it actually goes all the way down is the descending. I think he's gonna put a pin closer to like this part for descending because it's like clear that it's the bottom. He'll probably put a, part, a pin like in this area for transverse because it's like near the top but at the like part where it curves down. And then ascending would be like upper closer to this area. So just judge like where you think the pin is. If it's like here, I would probably say transverse because it's going like down over. Here ascending and here descending. Um, the mesentery that runs between your colon and like here, um, this is the mesocolon because right next to the colon. Mesocolon. Um, and then your colon leads to like your rectum, which I guess if technically, well, they, on the female, don't worry about the rectum because it's like really deep down and he's not going to really probably put a pin there. Because if he put a pin here, I would say it's cervix because he's talking about the vagina area. Um, then, did I go over the kidney? Okay. Well, actually, I'll just tell you this. This is the big purse. So the mesentery itself is called the greater omentum, but if he like, because it's, it like wraps around all your organs and keeps it in, um, technically the purse part is called the omental bursa. So on the, on the practical, if he puts like a, a thing like this and he's talking about like the inner part, like what it's holding, then that's the omental bursa. If he talks about like, if it's just like this. Wait, really? Go ahead.